Welcome to my channel, friends. I am here today to talk to you all about a book that I recently finished. A fantastic novel. One of the best books that I have ever read. This Tender Land by William Kent Kruger. This book is all about friendship and journey and trying to understand the human condition. It revolves around four friends who are children. As this novel opens up, we're at the Lincoln Indian Training School, which is a very sadistic place to be. These kids there are abused, uh, beyond mentioning here, and they're rented out for extremely hard labor to the local farmers during this area. And it's a really rough place to be for a kid as this book opens up. Our four main characters here are led by the narrator, Odie O'Banion, who's a 10-year-old boy at the school, his older brother, Albert, uh, Emmy, our little girl in this book, and Mose, my favorite character, uh, a Native American kid who's had his tongue cut out as a child, and he doesn't know who he is. He's on a search to find himself in this book. His only memory is waking up in a ditch beside his dead mother uh, with his tongue cut out. And this book is all about journey, friends. Our kids go on a journey throughout this book, and they have a lot of problems that they're trying to run away from as this novel goes on. And they're traveling on the river in a canoe, and they're stopping from place to place. They're outlaws. They're wanted by the law. They're being searched for. They're under a lot of pressure, and they're relying on one another in this book. And this is just such a joy to read was this book. It was a real tear-jerking kind of drama. I absolutely loved going on a journey with Odie and his friends in this book. And they stop at different places as they're trying to find a safe place to go on with their lives. And they're dealing with a lot of mature adult issues as children, as many unfortunate circumstances are forced upon them in this novel. They go on a journey and they meet a lot of people. Some are a danger. Some are true friends. You don't know who to trust in this book because our cast of friends here are extremely in jeopardy in this book. I give this book a five-star review. I absolutely loved going on this epic journey in this book. It's a very gentle tale. It reads very easy and quickly, but it's extremely dramatic. And I'm going to say tear-jerking again. I really was invested in these kids and who they were and all these complex and very serious issues that they were having to deal with throughout this book. And I was really invested in going along with them and seeing what happened to them throughout this book. You really don't know what's going to go on in this book. And several things happened that I did not see coming. These characters were authentic and the dialogue was believable. And they were just such lovable kids in this book. Mose, he has to sign, you see, because his tongue was cut out as a child, was my favorite character. I really felt for his struggle to try to understand who he was and trying to make it in the world. There are many antagonists in this book. All over the map are enemies to these children that are basically innocent kids who have been thrown into this storm of unfortunate circumstances. Little kids during the Great Depression era trying to survive on their own uh, with very little resources. Now, traveling in a canoe down a river for many, many miles trying to find safety in this book. I just couldn't go on enough in this review about how much I enjoyed this book, how easy and enjoyable it was to read. And it really is a testament to the human spirit, is this gentle but almost horrific drama. I absolutely loved this book. This is my first book by William Kent Kruger. 
this tender land. I'm going to get another one by him very soon. Ordinary Grace, I've been told, is a phenomenal, similar, tearjerker, heartjerker kind of book. I like this guy. He's an expert writer. This tender land couldn't have been any more dramatic and heartfelt and serious and lovable. And I was just completely invested from the first chapter. I give this book a five-star review. I could go on for hours about how much I love this book. I strongly encourage you to read this story. It's such a lovely and gentle but haunting and great book. And I, I couldn't possibly recommend this book anymore. It is literally one of the best novels that I have ever read, and I strongly encourage you to go on the journey with Odeo Banyan and his friends in this tender land. Please subscribe to me if you made it this far. This is one of the best books that I've ever read. Thanks, everyone.